Welcome back everybody with another review of an early Hammer film, another one of the Hammer noir films from the 1950s that were distributed by the uh, Lippert Corporation in the United States, uh, which was done prior to any deals that they had later uh, with any other distribution companies in the U.S. And uh, I've done two of these so far. In a, in a previous video, I covered Stolen Face and Man Bait, and I grouped those together because they were directed, both directed by Terrence Fisher, who uh, would, would, of course, uh, go on to direct some of the, the great Hammer horror films. Uh, this Today's film is directed by uh, Montgomery Tully, and it stars uh, Dan Duria, Elsie Albin, and uh, Gudrun Ur. And... Um, it is called Terror Street. Now, the original title was 36 Hours, and you may see it under that title, which is actually a more specific and uh, less generic title. has more to do with the plot as the, and this will be a fairly short review, as the uh, our hero, Dan, played by Dan Duria, who I'm not, I'm not really familiar with, uh, has about 36 hours to find the, his wife's murderer, which he has been framed for. And I just watched a, a trailer for it, and they billed him as uh, the screen's best bad man, Dan Duria. And I did read that he usually played, uh, he was usually the villain, the henchman, the tough guy. And I could definitely see that. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Doug McClure. Not so much the voice, but just the, the face and the body language. Intre and I did, uh, I've got a couple uh, shipments on the way from uh, oldies.com and... Um, what else do I got? I got MVD coming. And uh, I was on the fence about one old film. I think it has Christopher Lee in it, to be honest with you. But Dan Duria plays one of the henchmen. So I love making connections like that, you know. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see him in another role coming up soon. Anyway, let's get back to this film. Yeah, this is, this is another relatively short, nifty film noir. Uh, this one's a little more straightforward than the other two. Uh... The other two both had some soap opera type elements. They were a little convoluted here in parts. This is a pretty basic uh, noir film. Basically, you have an American pilot stationed in the United Kingdom. After World War II, he meets a, uh, I believe she's a Norwegian uh, soldier. I, I, don't, I don't know what branch she was in, but, you know, obviously World War II was a huge allied effort. So they... they you know, he kind of hits on her, and this is told in flashback, okay? Uh, the film starts out, he hitches a ride to his old apartment uh, in Great Britain, and it's cleaned out. There's nobody there. And we find out that he's uh, he's actually, he's got 36 hours before he's, he's uh, declared missing at his, you know, he's on leave or something, and he's supposed to be back in 36 hours. And at that time, you know, he'll be uh, AWOL. So he talks to the neighbor, and the neighbor really doesn't want to, who they were friendly with, the neighbor really doesn't want to give too much information about what happened to her. And she kind of indicates that maybe she got into some kind of trouble or something. And then, um, you know, he's sitting there and waiting, just kind of waiting to see what happens. Oh, no, he makes his way over to her new apartment. Uh, he basically strong arms, and this is where you can see that sort of tough guy demeanor that he has. He kind of strong arms the clerk, the bellhop, into getting into her apartment. And while he's in there, he's just kind of waiting around. And, well, he kind of makes the mistake of uh, there's a bottle there. So he starts drinking, and he kind of starts nodding off. And, uh, you know, eventually somebody comes in and knocks him unconscious. I should say he gets to confront his wife first. And then uh, he is knocked unconscious. And then when he wakes up, she has been uh, shot. Um, and then he, he, you know, he sort of panics and, and he has to go on the run. And the police sort of close in almost immediately. And he uh, basically hops a fence or uh, jumps over someone's wall and just enters into her apartment. And this is uh, a young lady who works in a soup kitchen. And she's played by uh, Anne Gudrun. Or excuse me, Gudrun Ur. Apparently she at one point changed her name to Anne Gudrun. Uh, 
I'm not sure if this is a typical Scottish name or not, but she's the actress is, is Scottish. So Terence, if you're watching, you can you can let me know. But and she's a little bit younger, uh, very attractive, very cute, and uh, I, th I believe he has a gun at this point, and uh, she really doesn't have a choice, so she kind of goes along with it, and uh, you know he's got to like wait out at least until the morning. And he's, uh, he, for some reason, her, her wall looks like the top of the Berlin Wall. It's got all kinds of pointy things on it. So he had cut up his arm, so she fixes him up. And and then basically, with her help, uh, she starts to help him, as usually, you know, is the case in these films. She ra sort of comes around to his side. He basically has to solve the mystery of who who the heck knocked him unconscious and murdered his wife and... It he it leads him to a cast of characters that are rather slippery, and uh, you know the whole time the police are hot on his trail, and I won't really say too much more about it. It, it it, you know it's it's a pretty decent little thriller, and I enjoyed watching it. Uh, I thought everybody in it was was really good. The the uh, the villains uh, <laughs> are quite slimy, um, <laughs> some of them, and uh, you you also has some rather pitiful characters uh and dan duria is is very good in this role um i really enjoyed it so here's another one if it's on the uh sprocket vault channel you want to check it out uh 36 hours also known as terror street go ahead and check it out let me know what you guys think have you seen any of these old uh hammer film studios uh, any of the old uh noir films that they made before they really got heavy in the horror films let me know in the comments below or just in general what are some of your favorite uh film noir noir films <laughs> uh let me know in the comments below thanks